To get regular updates, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon. Hello friends, this is the Pali Shah from Examin. This is the third lesson in the environment series. And before getting into this lesson, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get the regular updates. So let's get started with environmental impact assessment. Environmental impact assessment. Developmental projects in the past were undertaken without any consideration to their environmental consequences. As a result, the whole environment got polluted and degraded. In view of the colossal damage done to the environment, governments and public are now concerned about the environmental impacts of the developmental activities. So as to assess the environmental impacts, the mechanism of environmental impact assessment, which is also known as EIA, was introduced. EIA is a tool to anticipate the likely environmental impacts that may arise out of the proposed developmental activities and suggest measures and strategies to reduce them. EIA was introduced in India in 1978 with respect to the river valley projects. Later, the EIA legislation was enhanced to induce other developmental sections since 1941. EIA comes under notification of Environmental Impact Assessment EIA of Developmental Projects in 1994 under the provisions of Environment Protection Act 1986. Besides EIA, the Government of India, under the Environment Protection Act 1986, issued a number of other notifications which are related to the environmental impact assessments. EIA is now mandatory for 30 categories of project and these projects get environmental clearance which is also known as EC only after the EIA requirements are fulfilled. Environmental clearance or the go ahead signal is granted by the Impact Assessment Agency in the Ministry of Environment and Forest Government of India. Projects that require clearance from the central government can be broadly categorized into the following sectors: industries, mining, thermal power plants, river valley projects, infrastructure, coastal regulation zone and nuclear power projects. The important aspects of the EIA are risk assessment, environmental management and post project monitoring. Functions of the EIA is to serve as a primary environmental tool with clear provisions, apply consistently to all proposal with potential environmental impacts, use scientific practice and suggest strategies for mitigation. address all possible factors such as short term long term small scale and large scale effects to the environment consider sustainable aspects such as capacity for assimilation carrying capacity biodiversity protection etc lay down a flexible approach for public involvement have a built in mechanism of follow up and feedback include mechanisms for monitoring auditing and evaluation In order to carry out an environmental impact assessment the following factors are very essential assessment of existing environmental status assessment of various factors of ecosystem such as air water land and biological analysis of adverse environmental impacts of the proposed projects to be started impact on people in the neighborhood the benefits of EIA are EIA provides a cost effective method to eliminate or minimize the adverse impact of the developmental projects. EIA enables the decision makers to analyze the effect of the developmental activities on the environment well before the developmental project is being implemented. EIA encourages the adaptation of mitigation strategies in the developmental plan. EIA makes sure that the developmental plan is environmentally sound and within the limits of the capacity of assimilation and regeneration of the ecosystem. EIA links environment with development. The goal is to ensure environmentally safe and sustainable development. Environmental components of the EIA The EIA process looks into the following components of the environment air environment quality of ambient air present and predicted meteorological data which predicts wind speed direction humidity etc quantity of the emission of harmful gases into the earth's atmosphere from the project and its impact on the surroundings pollution control desires or the quality standards noise component the levels of noise present and predicted strategies for reducing the noise pollution water environment 
existing ground and surface water resources their quality and quantity within the zone impact of the proposed project on the water resources in the surrounding areas biological environment impact of project on the natural flora and fauna potential damage done due to the project affluence emissions and landscaping biological stress of the project on the ecosystem and environment land environment to assess the adverse impact of the project by doing a study of the soil characteristics land use drainage pattern historical monuments and heritage site assessment of expected economic benefits arising out of the project have to be compared to all the above mentioned factors this we can say that the environmental concerns have to be a made a part of the decision to set up a project EIA process and procedures steps in preparation of EIA report are as follows collection of baseline data from primary and secondary sources prediction of impacts based on past experience and mathematical modeling evaluation of impact versus evaluation of the net cost benefit preparation of environmental management plans to reduce the impact to the minimum and quantitative estimation of financial cost of monitoring plan and the mitigation measures Environment management plan delineation of mitigation measures including prevention and control for each environmental component and rehabilitation resettlement plan EIA process EIA process is a cyclical process with interaction between the various steps screening the project plan is screened for scale of investment location and type of development and if the project needs statutory clearance scoping the project's potential impacts zone of impact mitigation possibilities and need for the monitoring collection of baseline data the baseline data is the environmental status of the study area impact prediction positive and negative reversible and irreversible and temporary and permanent impacts need to be predicted which presupposes a good understanding of the project by the assessment agency mitigation measures and eia report the eia report should include the actions and steps for preventing minimizing or bypassing the impacts or else the level of compensation for the probable environmental damage or loss public hearing on completion of the eia report public and environmental groups living close to the project site may be informed and consulted decision making impact assessment authority along with the experts consult the project in charge along with the consultant to take the final decision keeping in mind the eia and emp which is also known as environment management plan Monitoring the implement of environmental management plan means that the various phases of implementation of the project are always monitored. Assessment of alternatives, delineation of mitigation measures and environmental impact assessment report. For every project, possible alternatives should be identified and environmental attributes compared. Alternatives should cover both project location and process the technology. Once the alternatives have been reviewed a mitigation plan should be drawn up for the selected option and is supplemented with the environmental management plan risk assessment inventory analysis and hazard probability and index also form a part of the eia procedures with this we have come to the end of this session thank you for watching in the next session we would be looking at the composition of the expert committees for the eia environmental appraisal procedure india and much more